Well, it is a momentous week next week as it marks the beginning of the oldest women's golfing tournament in the country, the South African Women's Open, where the leading golfers from the European Tour will be descending on the Hibiscus Coast, a beautiful stretch of KZN coastline, to take part in an unprecedented lineup with, of course, a brilliant prize pool, no less than 320,000 euros on offer and a very strong field at that. And I'm very privileged to have joining me this morning the executive director of the WPG. GA, um, Barbara Prestana and Sherry Mulder, one of the pros who I'm sure is very eager um, to get out onto that course. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Sherry, I'm going to start with you. You know, the, the location aside, this tournament itself has a huge amount of prestige attached to it. How are you feeling, first of all, about <laughs> entering into the lineup next week? No, I'm very excited. When I heard that um, the, the draw was in and everything was closed and I'd got into the tournament, I was unbelievably excited and I can't wait to get out there and start playing. You've been on a bit of a break, um, so this really is going to be a challenge looking at the, the talent that is in the lineup. What are you expecting from this year's lineup? I think we've got a lot of unbelievable women golfers coming to play in this. Um, we've got a lot of top European players and I couldn't believe how many talented South African girls we've actually got out there since I've been back. And I'm actually looking forward to competing against them and seeing what they've got let them prove their mettle. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Barbara, I, I know you are very excited about this. Um, you know, the, the lineup is one thing. The location is unmatched. San Lemire, it is a beautiful golf course. What are you most excited about this year's tournament? Yeah. Well, I think San Lemire is a venue that ticks all the boxes for yeah. us. And they have shown great enthusiasm in hosting this event to the extent that they have upgraded their, their facilities to international oh. standards. And no doubt the golf course is going to prove a good test of, of golf, and especially if the wind blows. Uh, which, yeah. which we yeah. hope it's in, in moderation yes. as, as a Cape Tonian. <laughs> I know how much that can yeah. affect a, a golfing yeah. game. But yeah. why has this become such a major highlight on the golf in Canada? Well, I think it's because it's our flagship event. And, um, you know, the re-entry of the SA Women's Open, which was co-sanctioned with the Ladies' European Tour the first time, was 2012. Since it's made a comeback, everybody just wants to wants to get into the event, come to South Africa. They've heard so much about it, and um, you know, just come and be part of it. It's just so special. What does it take to get there? You know, to be able to get to a point where you can have some of the best golfers in the world um, descending on South African shores. What has it taken to put this year's tournament together? Well, I think it's a, you know, there's there's a lot of things. You know, the, the the biggest thing is obviously the great support that we receive from our sponsors. KwaZulu Natal, um, the Department of Economic Development and Tourism, and at the Hibiscus Coast Mun Municipality, they all share our vision to grow the game and to empower women's golf in South Africa. So through, it's a collective effort that um, you know we've all sort of got to get together and, and to produce the, the goods at the end of the day. Um, it really is inspiring mm. to see what's going into mm. um, women's golf, especially at the moment. And mm. um, we also live in a technological age where appreciating golf and enjoying a golfing tournament is that much more fun. Um, why should people come down to San Lemire to take in the SA Women's Open this year? Well, I think it's, you know, it's such a fantastic opportunity and everybody will really be surprised. These, I call them girls, the younger players, the talent that's out there is absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, men or ladies, come and watch them hit the ball, you will be pleasantly surprised. I think you'll be blown away. Um, yeah. Lastly, I'll ask you, Sherry, what do you think it's going to take, knowing the terrain, knowing the area, knowing the tournament, what's it going to take to come out on top? Well, I think, especially at Sanlemir, you've got to play shot for shot, try and get your drives in the fairway. Um, and uh, if you can get the greens in regulation, let your putter do the talking and uh, you'll be A for away. Oh, I, I wish your competitors <laughs> could see the tiger's <laughs> eye that I'm getting across, I'm from across the studio. Go, yeah. um, no, but it's fantastic. All the best of luck. Yeah, Welcome thank back. You. Thank, um, you. thank you so much for your efforts. I think this is going to be a fantastic yeah. tournament. Yeah. And uh, I know Expresso is going to be watching very closely. So we look forward to getting regular updates yeah. from you as the tournament unfolds. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much to the ladies joining us. All the best of luck to a very strong South African field and good luck to the international visitors taking part. Um, we will be offering regular updates, tips from the course itself, how to um, handle the terrain, and of course, as a very avid enthusiast, how you can take in some of the best ladies golfing action in the world, and it's descending here on South African shores. This is a very exciting time.